Davide, go ahead. Hey, Luca, um, how disappointing is a loss like this, uh, especially when you guys have that great comeback late in the game? Very disappointing. That's all I got to say. Uh, Tim McMahon. Luca, uh, Rick mentioned that you guys had talked about Dublin DeRozan on that last possession. He wasn't sure exactly uh, what happened there. Uh, do you have any insight into, into what happened on that possession? Uh, he made a hell of a shot. Uh, he was a good defender. I think he made a hell of a shot and props to him for making the shot. Well, why, why didn't the double come? You asking me that? Yes. I'm asking if you have any insight on that. No, what's stay, what's inside stays inside, you know. We don't need to put it out there in the media. Hi, Luca. Um, I know this was a disappointing loss. I just uh, want to fast forward to um, your game tomorrow night uh, against the Sixers. Uh, you and Joel Embiid have the uh, highest career points per game among international players. Uh, what do you think that says about where the game is today, specifically among international players? And what are you looking forward to with that matchup? I mean, yeah, he's playing. Uh, he's playing on an amazing level. You know, he's in the MVP conversation, of course. Uh, their team is winning, and he's an amazing player. And uh, hopefully, we win the game. You know, that's what I hope for. Yes. Hey, Kristaps. Uh, I was wondering. Uh, looked like there was some confusion, or you were motioning to the sideline uh, either before your sixth foul. Uh, do you remember what was going on? You were talking to the referees, and also toward the bench. Uh, is it something? Uh, something when I got the foul? Yeah, before I think it was before. Well, it was before that. Oh no, that was that was because I saw the uh, the game stopped. It was a two fifty four or something, and the clock kept kept running. And I oh, was okay. the one that, that seen it, so I was letting the refs know that. Oh, okay. I just didn't. Know. Okay. Well, uh, and can you just discuss, you know, just the difficulty of fouling out in that situation? Yeah. You guys are so close, right there. Yeah, especially towards the end, a couple. of touch fouls that, you know, the Paul one. I should have just, if I was going to foul him, I was actually trying to avoid him, but, you know, there was a little bit of contact and they called it. And, um, you know, that one I probably should have, or fouled him hard or make him shoot two free throws or, or just, you know, let him, let him score. So I'm not in foul trouble, but, but yes, those things happen, you know, and a lot of times I'm out of position and I'm helping my teammate and then I turn around and the guy's already going up and I kind of touch him without even wanting to touch him and, and it's a foul and, and that's how it goes. So, uh, and then the the Martin uh, the the Rosen one was going for the block. In my head, I seen it clearly that I was going to get the block. But you know, he's, he's good. He leaned back. I hit his head a little bit. It's a foul. That was it. So it's a tough one. Obviously, I want to be out there and and and, and you know, we, we, we even you know with everything, we were still we had the chance to win the game. Just you know, Demar hit a hit a huge shot, and hats off to him. And you know, it just shows how hard it is to win. Yeah, every night, you know, against the against the NBA team. Kevin. Hey, KP, how are you feeling about your overall game right now? It seemed like your willingness to drive to the basket, your decision making, and decisiveness, decisiveness seem to be more consistent these days. How are you feeling about your overall game right now? Yeah, yeah, um, feeling good. Just playing, playing my game, trying to find the opportunities within our offense. And uh, that's it, taking care of my body, working on my game, uh, being who I am, and, and, and that's it. And then showing up and just living with the results. Tim Cato. Hey, KP. I feel like you always have an interesting perspective on, on what it's like to be on the court and, and you know, in, in situations like this. What's it like to be in foul trouble and, and to kind of be cognizant of that, that, that you are close to a limit, whether it's the first quarter and you have three or, or late and you have five or whatever it is, um, and, and then still play your game while also trying to avoid, you know, adding to that, obviously, which which didn't work out tonight. But I think generally just the, the idea of how that works, uh, I'm curious. Yeah, um, it's, it's, it's a balance, right? Because you don't want to play too soft where you're like letting everybody drive on, on you and, and and just to not get, you know, foul. But on the other hand, you have to be smart and you have to, you know, make sure you don't commit a, 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 a dumb foul, you know, for no reason. Um, that one, I wasn't trying to foul. I was actually, you know, I, I, 
as I said, I was just trying to get the clean block and just he, he, he was leaning back a little bit and just hit my, my, my arm or forearm, I don't remember. Um, and that's it. So there's got to be smart with it. Maybe there's not even, it's not even about the, the late game ones. I feel like there's maybe some that I could have been in a better position to avoid the, the early ones maybe. And then I'm not in that position at the end of the game, you know, so. Um, just got to be smart and, 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 and keep learning, keep learning game, keep learning the situations. And that way I'll be, you know, a step ahead of everybody.